of those laws. And I've seen it. We all see it. We come short of the glory. And Paul talks about even sin in the church. He talks about gospel and backbiting. Yes. You know, those sins are in the same chapter with murdering and thieves. Yes, yeah. It's just as bad because Paul knew and Christ knew that somebody in the church gossip backbites and runs others down yep. and jealous and all would ruin a church. <coughs> and people wouldn't want to come into that. So he puts that as a sin. But, you know, if we have that sin of, of gossip, you know, it, it flouts us up right there. It's in our body. We're no longer pure and clear. Right. And all of a sudden, <coughs> if we tell a story to our parents or to someone else or to our spouse, more sin comes into our body. And our body starts looking like this. And as we go through the years and life, we do some things wrong. And more sin comes into our body. And all of a sudden, there we are. And if we all of a sudden took our last breath, and we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, when we close our eyes and open in glory and stand before him, would we want to look like that? Mm -hmm. Not full of sin, we don't. Because he was saying, depart from me. I never knew you. That's right. Yep. Right. And the only way we can get rid of this sin is to ask Jesus Christ to come into our hearts and be our Lord and Savior. And it's as simple as that. People say that's too easy. No. Oh, it's that easy. That's not too easy because once you do, <coughs> then you're going to be persecuted like they told us in Bible school, the little 14 years at school, they are picked on all the time for being a Christian, yeah. persecuted. But all of a sudden, when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and that's what's coming to our heart, then all of this sin is cast into the depth of the ocean. Never to be remembered. Amen. And that's what we said. And then we stand up before our Lord and Savior when that time's come <clears throat> and we are pure as the wind driven snow. Right. But we know that we're going to sin from time to time. And when we do, we need to turn away from it. We need to turn away from that sin and go to Jesus Christ right then. And it's just that easy. And it's magnificent that the blood of Jesus oh, thank you, will cover that sin. Amen. 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 It's washed away completely. It's cast into the ocean so that when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, that when we leave this world, instead of hearing those words, depart from me, I never knew you, you will hear in these gates, my friend, servant, Amen. you've run the good race. Oh, thank you. You've fought the good fight. Welcome to paradise. Amen. And now you will be with the rest of your loved ones. And there will be no oh, sickness, no more pain, yep. no more heartache. And I tell you what, when you have some of the diseases we have today yep. and the suffering, you know, heaven looks really good. Oh, yeah. Right there, because we know, as I said earlier, Right here, if we live to be a hundred years old, it's only a speck in time as to how long eternity is going to be right. with right. our Lord Jesus Christ and all of our loved ones with no more suffering, no more parting, no more pain. Yep. And that's all we have to do. And people think that's too easy. That's why Jesus came. That's right. But how we live after we do that is what Paul is telling us in the book of Ephesians as to how we should live and how we should accept the blessings that God the Father has given us, Jesus Christ has given us, and the Holy Spirit that seals us and guides us each day and gives us comfort and guidance right there. So think about that. And if you haven't accepted it totally tonight when we get to all the call, I would ask you to do that tonight, or if you need to rededicate yourself, or you just need to pray for somebody or pray for yourself, then do we have the deacons in here? Okay, I'll ask the deacons to come down then. And, uh,